I'm going to mute everybody. That was close, dude. This sounds even better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, we're back. All right, are we good? That was a nightmare. No, this sounds fantastic. Yeah, this sounds better. Incredible. Right. Like, in, in fact, we're idiots for even trying to use Zencaster. I feel stupid for even recommending it. Zoom all the way. It Zoom a, has never let us down. Yeah. It's a godless product. platform, Zencaster. Yeah. Who, who profits off Zencaster? At least we know who profits with Zoom. It's ironic it's called Zencaster because all it does is cause me stress. Whoa. Huh? I'm not feeling very <laughs> zen when I'm casting. This is going to be part of your new special, about trying to connect. And it's the, the completely live stream comedy special, which unfortunately is the way things are going now. Dude, con comedy's dead. We're it's done. Not, it is. It, it's dead and I love it. It is ironic. We're all trying to connect when none of us can really uh, even, the only way we can connect is over our internet connection. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuck you. Has anyone thought about that? It makes yeah. you think. Yeah. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Uh, I, did I blow your mind? I love comic. Wasn't that like Carlin's whole act, kind of? What? We all your mind? want to connect. We connect, but we can only connect over our internet connection. Oh, yeah. He did have that yeah. special where he was in like a Steve Jobs turtleneck, and he just did like a rap. <laughs> oh, that's like, like every every special. He had like a little like rhymey thing where everyone would give him an applause because he remembered this whole poem where he's like, you go... You go go in a plane, you go on a plane, but yeah. we're going insane in the membrane. <laughs> yeah. like, that's, Wait, just say stupid that's Seinfeld in Cypress Hill that you yeah. just and then, like <laughs> Seinfeld Hill? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> insane. I'm in insane. The membrane. <laughs> I'm insane. Got no brain. <laughs> got no brain. <laughs> Seinfeld Hill. You got no brain. I got no brain. <laughs> Damn man. Yeah, I hate I hate that. I memorize shit type of comedy yeah you know? there's well, like the, a the carlin a, one was just like a rap yeah let me pull it up let's pull up the carlin jamie rap. pull that up yeah the carlin rap carlin. hey everybody my name's george c <laughs> and i'm here to say he's the leader of the bunch you know him well he's finally back to kick some tail <laughs> <laughs> you doing the donkey kong yeah 64? yeah yeah i was trying to do the Dude, donkey kong 64 gc <laughs> george carlin gc <laughs> and then like his diddy kong is bill hicks <laughs> yeah and the funky kong is richard pryor yeah <laughs> boomer comedians baby although i guess bill hicks was more like gen x yeah bill hicks was like the first gen x comedian mm -hmm. Damn, i call dude. him yeah i call him bill hack let's watch the you, carlin rap is anyone right. really a fan of is anyone like genuinely funny in stand-up comedy like a, like damn you gotta listen to this bill hicks bit yeah, like they like the idea of Bill Hicks. Like they like the idea of someone that can just go up there and get all fucked up and be like, "The government's flying to you," and it's like, "Wow, that's cool." But like, is anyone who's like, "Well, what a hilarious Bill Hicks bit"? Neil well, Bill Brennan Hicks, like, loves bombs that. on his specials. But does he like like does he ever like mention specific Bill Hicks bits or just like I like the idea of Bill Hicks? Yeah, People I think they like, like his yeah, attitude. Yeah. His signature yeah. bit is like um, saying Jay Leno shouldn't do commercials or something. Like that's like not. Yeah, that's he, not a good bit. At yeah, all. he really was. He, I, I mean, I guess like because so many people have tried doing what he did since then, but he really set the template for just whiny, preachy comedy. Yeah, don't yeah. sell out, man. Fuck off. I would love to sell out. Yeah, you know we should all. Dude, we're trying to get that dick pill out. money. Yeah, dude. Yeah, All we're right. in feuds. I'm in voiceover work now. I can't hear this. I can't hear it, Dalton. Oh, no. Can you hear it? Can you guys hear it? No. All right, well, never mind then. What's happening? Is All right, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Killed? I'm killing the, the momentum of the show. What else is new, dude? It's it doesn't matter. Good. That's why we do love I, you. How do I turn this? All right, I'm turning this off. All right, anyway... Yeah, George Carlin just rhymes a bunch of shit, and he's like, I'm an alpha male on beta blockers. <laughs> 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 you know what? It's a good, it's a good <laughs> bit. <laughs> Dude, that's pretty good. <laughs> that might be one to use, assume, if, assuming we can ever go back to doing stand-up comedy. He used it. It's in the special. Oh, really? Yeah. That's so stupid. <laughs> damn dude old people are so fucking stupid well, and like, it, whenever an old person's like oh you don't know a real comedy they'll like mention some fucking stupid bit like that or some it's funny, road it's, hack it's funny how like 
comedians whole thing is supposed to be irreverence but so many comics hold these other comics in such high esteem if you say anything bad about them they get mad yeah but I, i'll tell you first george carlin and bill hicks are a bunch of a couple of fucking dunces I, that's right i i will go to bed i think george carlin's uh, earlier stuff is pretty good it's just yeah, like, like no nah, dude it all 1950s sucks. when he would wear guy. a suit like a gentleman yeah the hippy dippy weather man no that shit sucks <laughs> that fucking blows dude yeah that does suck that Man. really was like if you could get in on the ground floor of comedy i would have what an easy life that was just the well, dumbest shit i mean he did have of. to go to the supreme court though for like saying uh faggot or whatever no that, that was hey, no wait, that was Robbie, is that the court with sour cream and <laughs> yeah <laughs> <the> <laughs> Illegal immigrants have to go to the burrito supreme court. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Man, dude, we're, we're cooking with gas. We're today. cooking with gas. We're back, dude. We're back. <laughs> dude, we're back. Man. Every episode is our comeback. Episode. Quarantine. <laughs> we're the Phoenix, man. We are. Loud dude, boys we, are the, the Phoenix boys. We're yeah. the Phoenix. The Phoenix Marie, the porn star. The court Ooh. has ruled five to four in favor of charging for tortilla chips. <laughs> Do you guys, you guys know Phoenix Marie? The porn yes, star? of course I know the Phoenix Marie. The I porn don't. Star. She does like a lot Shut of. Shut up, Robbie. Sex. I don't know who that is. She looks weird, man. She has like a weird like fifties housewife face. Yeah, it's big nice. bolt on like fake titties and a big fat like fake ass, and she she just does like a lot of anal sex. Damn. Who's your favorite porn star right now? Ooh, good question. Uh, <clears throat> Melania Trump. <laughs> Come on, dude. Nothing but respect for our first lady. Uh <laughs> our first <That> lady. <laughs> I love being the sexist anti-Trump. That is like a wing of like the anti-Trump, like just like I hate those like whores, Ivanka and Melania. It's all like women over 55. Well, that that was funny when Sarah Huckabee Sanders was still in and everybody was like white knighting for her, not like people hate her, but they were still like, don't make fun of her looks. Oh yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> nah, dude, what a, Dumpy bitch. <laughs> Everyone was like so quick to make fun of how stupid she looks. Dude, she looks so yeah, this like woman only got her job because her dad is a is a powerful politician and no one else wanted that job. Yeah, she we're really did like, her ugly and, daughter. Yeah, like, she if, she looks bad, and we're all supposed to be like, well, we can only criticize her public policy decision. Like, no, fuck off. Let you me, know what uh, she looked like? Like if your car broke down outside of a farm, she's the girl that the <laughs> farmer tries to make you fuck. Yeah. You're away oh, yeah, my he's daughter. Like, uh, yeah, he's like, don't fuck my daughter. And you're like, yeah, no problem, <laughs> yeah. dude. <laughs> Won't be an issue. All right, wait. Please fuck her. <laughs> yeah. Let I me tried rephrase to, that. I, I, I tried to I tried to do the good cop, bad cop thing. <laughs> Yeah, no one's all... fucking my daughter. I really need. I'm trying to do happen. a little reverse psychology, yeah. but uh, <laughs> looks like it doesn't work. So I will pay you to have sex with my portly daughter. I live with her. She needs to unwind. She needs <laughs> a dicking down. Let me tell you. Would you have I'm... sex with a farmer's daughter? Yes. Of course. I'll oh, have yeah, sex yeah. with anyone. Damn, that's cool, man. First oh, thing on. I do when this quarantine's over, I'm gonna have a little sex. How about how about you guys, fellas? Yeah, with 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 what guy? I don't know. I, I haven't decided yet, dude. I haven't decided who I'm going to uh, confront in a public bathroom with a chloroform <laughs> rag yet, dude. Well, yeah. but I'm sure he's a charming <laughs> young man. Joe, Joe, Joe. Oh, I'm so, I'm sorry. We're not supposed to. I'm not supposed to talk about my personal life. Do you guys sorry, think guys. chloroform works that fast? <laughs> yeah, of course it does. I mean, I don't think maybe. It does. I don't know. I don't think you could just. <laughs> I don't think I you love, could just like put a rag against I someone's love face. How, I love how, what Joe thought was the problem with what he was saying was talking about his personal life. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, how, I'm going to write a letter to Hollywood <laughs> movies for the portrayal of how quick chloroform can knock someone out. <laughs> like, Dear Hollywood <laughs> movies. <laughs> like, excuse me, Dear sir. Dear Mr. Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, yeah, you were setting dangerous expectations for overeager young men. <laughs> <laughs> I had a whole dude. evening planned. <laughs> man, that's got to be oh. tough, man. What? <laughs> Writing a letter? <laughs> uh, yeah, that. <laughs> Yeah, writing writing letters does suck. Damn, dude, that shit's hard as fuck. Yeah, dude, you gotta get a pen. What's your guys' favorite pen? I go Pilot G2 one millimeter. I like uh, those, that's a uh, good one. I like yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah, that's a good pen. That's I the like best the, one. Uh, astronaut pen that you can write upside down with. Oh, from the Seinfeld episode. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's the only thing I've ever wanted as a child. My favorite pen is Cal pen. 
Thank you. Ooh. Come again. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Calpin. <laughs> that yep. you know, people make fun of Trump for his like inexperienced appointees or whatever. But that guy was just in Harold and Kumar, and he got a job in the Obama administration. Wait, wait. He was in three Harold and Kumars. Yeah, yeah. and he and he got a job in the Obama ca- like administration. Yeah, Obama and he was, was in like, two uh, Van Walder movies. Can you imagine if Trump did that? <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna, but Harold's gonna be in there. He's our new ambassador to China. <laughs> Harold was the Asian guy. Oh, that's a- <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. <laughs> yeah, we got. Uh, we're gonna look into this uh, coronavirus. We Harold, got an Harry, expert. Harold and Kumar. Like, I'm Korean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Chinaman. Harold and Kumar. <laughs> are, Harold and Kumar are gonna go to a Wuhan wet market. <laughs> oh man. My name Our is John poor- Cho, and I'm Korean. And then he just does the slanty eyes. Is he Korean? Let me look no, up. I think he is Chinese. John. Is Chinese, his name is John Japanese, Cho? Dirty, dirty knees. <laughs> What's that? Look from? at these. Oh. Uh, oh right, right, right. Ancient poem, dude. Ancient um, haiku. No, John Cho is Korean. Damn, I was right. Damn, you were. I know right. him, dude. I can, I can look, I can tell what, <laughs> like, I can tell what Asians are. Oh my God! You could have like used that to be like, "Look, I'm elevated. I know the different ones." And you're like, "No, no, I got, I got my eye out for that." I, stu- I studied I eugenics. Eye, I have I an know. eye for eyes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, how about an eye for the guys? Oh, oh, okay. oh. all right. <laughs> oh. How, how, why did? Hey, queer these are eye... we're just joking, guys. We're just, we're just joking. joking. Why, did, why did queer eye go from queer eye for the straight guy to just queer eye? Because they like they decided, the they decided that, that lesbians <laughs> and and pansexuals also dress like shit. So they're like, all right, all of these fucking weirdos. Now that there's such a huge spectrum of people that can't dress well, they had to be like, do all you, right, this is just a queer eye from now on. Do you guys remember when Comedy Central had a show called Straight Plan for the Gay Man? Oh, yeah, I remember yeah. that. Dude, and that it was, was, awesome. it was, it was real eye. Yeah, dude, they were like, man, you got to get some white blood cells, bro. This I love that they were like, what there's there's one gay show. <laughs> God damn it, dude! Tony, show him your white blood cells. Look at this. See how this this is fucking healthy blood right there, bro. I don't know what you've been doing. But you got like nothing, man. There's like shit floating around in your blood, man. God it's a tragedy, dude. It's a real oh, like yeah. respect, respect for the people that willingly give themselves this disease i will say having, the lifestyle that they've chosen having a plan is very <laughs> not straight yeah straight guys don't have plans no, no yeah, way, we, man. we go with our lists. gut our dick to, what our dick got, men us. to-do lists are the worst to-do list women make really good ones and gay guys make really good ones men How about make a to-do bad. list well we all know who made that one yep <laughs> that's the ten commandments Oh, That's yeah. the to-do list. The to-do <laughs> list. <laughs> Ten Commandments is just a to-do list. To-do list. <laughs> oh, boy. I watched Passion of the Christ uh, on Sunday. Great movie. Best movie of all time. It's, it was a powerful it's stuff. I will say, it actually it is a good movie. It's incredible. I love it. Yeah, I, I said it ironically, but it is actually pretty good. I mean, it's Mel powerful. Gibson is awesome. It really Dude, I stand me, by that yeah. statement. And like it really makes you understand like the sacrifice Christ made for all of us, so we don't have to sacrifice a lamb or anything. You know, he died for our sins. That's dude, solid, that dude. would suck to have to sacrifice a lamb. What a what a tedious activity. Oh my I know, god, dude! dude. All that delicious halal meat going to waste. Yeah, now you're speaking my language. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's five bucks down the drain. Do you think when you sacrifice a lamb that God asks for white sauce, hot sauce? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually the first book of the Quran. Uh, yeah. Sacrifice a lamb with white sauce, hot sauce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The second book is Gyro or Pita. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, ISIS is going to come for us after this. Oh, no, hey, really? no, dude. We're, we're nicest. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought I thought we worked all that shit out, man. Yeah, dude, Trump blew the hell out of him. We're fine. Yeah, I thought we have peace in our time. Yeah, nice is the group so nice they named it twice as. <laughs> yeah, dude, I think we fixed it. Um, well, we fixed ISIS. Dude, we fixed ISIS. We just we'll just we just need to rebrand them to nicest. Problem solved. That's true. Thank you. Yep. 
threat neutralized <laughs> <laughs> to a permanent end. To a permanent end. Do you, do you guys see that when John Cena, like, when he announced Bin Laden's death? Of course. Oh, that's yeah. what I'm talking like, about. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. He has been, awesome. well, he was like, Osama Bin Laden has been neutralized to a permanent end. Yeah, and then he drops the mic and walks out, and everyone's yeah. like, yeah! Dude, how funny would it be if, like, Obama or uh, Osama Bin Laden's <laughs> theme music hit right after that? <laughs> and there was, like, footage of, like, the t- fucking planes going into the Twin Towers. <laughs> and he yeah, comes like, out. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. <laughs> it's like Black Hawk Down music. Yeah, dude. He John Cena turns around and he's like, "Oh no!" <laughs> the announcer like, "It's the a fight together. for the very soul of America." Yeah. <laughs> Iron Sheet comes down from the rafters. Who oh, will we pick? Been... Whose side will he be on? <laughs> Everyone's like screaming. He does that thing where he looks at the audience for confirmation on what to do. Good guys, it's fucking awesome, man. By you the guys way, ever listen to um, great, great news. B- by the way, WWE. Uh, has a ana- or uh, Florida announced that WWE is an essential business, so we'll be doing. Thank shows God, there. that's thank awesome. God. Yeah. Thank God, Florida. That was just a very couple of weeks, dude. Yeah, dude. No WWE. God damn. That would have. You sucked. just reminded me. You reminded me of something. You, you, have you ever listened to Frank Zappa? Of course. Yeah, a little bit. It's like too goofy for me. I think it is a little too goofy. It's but like and a little too I went, weird. I went and I went down and went on a giraffe, like that kind he of. He has he has two he has one album where he does brown face, and it's called uh, "Shake Your Booty." That's cool. Mm. Oh. Um, and he has another album where he does black face called Joe's Garage. But oh come on! Oh come check, on! Check out the check out the brown face album. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's relatively tasteful brown face it is but now hey, but the episode you... is called uh, oh it's actually called oh it's chic your booty i yeah, misunderstood yeah. chic your booty chic your boot i like that but now well, let's it's... let's take a look at his black face work because you guys are gonna love this I, already did. <laughs> wow. Look at that. I don't see it it's not showing up you don't see that Look Joe, at the look at it? the screen share. Yes, I do see it. No, Zoom is is frozen for me. God like, damn it, Rob. Why? What well, Joe sees Robbie? it. Uh, oh, I see it now. Oh my god! <laughs> How great oh my is that? god, that's horrifying. <laughs> yeah, dude. It, but you know what's what? funny? You know what's funny? That's a really good album. So yeah, both of those albums are good. <laughs> why did he do blackface? What's why, why is I, that? It's about a statement, well, dude. The character. It's a it's a rock opera, and the character in it is black and the, the guy who sings ike willis is black but for <laughs> so some there we go dude so frank just couldn't put the black guy in the album he had to be like no 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 i'm gonna I'm no gonna yeah it has my... to be and not it's only does gonna he... be me in blackface black guy you're not gonna be in the picture not only does he do blackface but on like the back of the look at the back of the album it shows him getting like painted up in blackface <laughs> whoa so you see the fucking process <laughs> yeah you see his process <laughs> God damn! Dude. How did I not? How does no one talk about this? I guess, well, up. At, at the time that it came out, blackface was still cool. It was like fine. It was yeah. like eight, eighty-eight. Blackface I, I, was fine until like nineteen ninety-eight. No, and then, it, blackface was fine until two thousand eight. Tropic Thunder put the guy like that was yeah, the, that was, that was like the last. This, that was the swan song. That was of, the series finale for blackface. Yeah, yeah it really was. They kind of but like where do you go it. from there? It was perfect. They let you do it if you did an impression of a black guy for a little bit. Like Billy Crystal did it at the Oscars, doing um, his jazz man character. Oh yeah. Oh no, you know what? Can John Hamm. I knew Ted Danson. Ted Danson did it for Whoopi Goldberg's. Well, uh, John John Hamm did it in that last season of Thirty Rock in that sketch with Tracy Morgan. Oh yeah, and then yeah. Tracy Morgan and and uh, and what's her face uh, Jenna also Jenna did, did blackface. Yeah. Oh yeah, those yeah they did blackface great. a couple of times. And then uh, Jimmy Fallon did blackface on SNL because he did uh, Eddie Chris Murphy. Rock. Or, yeah, and Jim, Jimmy Kimmel did like Black Body. That's right. He was uh, <laughs> he was uh, what's his name? Uh, Malone. Uh, Carl that's, Malone. That's, Carl Malone. That's right. Yeah. Post hey, Malone. What is Carl Malone? Hey everyone. No, Carl Malone. No. Oh. Oh, Post Malone's the the genius musician. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's so good. I like Damn, him, dude. I've never Imagine listened to his music, but confidence. I just like his vibe. It, it's like crazy. I have like that much confidence in your art to be like, I can get these face tattoos and never have to. That's worry what about I'm going for, dude. Job. Dude, I was talking the last time I did mushrooms. I had that revelation that Post Malone might be the only person who really figured life out. Yeah, he's got it, dude. That guy's out. gonna die in like the next three years, though. That'd be yeah, tight, but dude. he's having a good time. Isn't that what life's all about, dude? Getting face tattoos, drinking no, clean. No, dude. 
if I was, well, it's funny because he seems like he get, he has like dangerous level of alcoholism, but all he drinks is Bud Lights. Uh, That's like, hey, hold on, you know I know fucking, enough. <laughs> I know enough alcoholics to know you could you could do some damage with Bud Light. Really? No. Yeah. You gotta like you, try. No, dude. Yeah, it's drink, so much I, I harder. I know people. I know people who would drink like sixty in a night. Sixty? That's impossible. Nope. No, yep. it's not. Sixty? Sixty. Let's say let's say you start drinking at six PM by three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, you could you could tear through sixty. No uh it's not humanly possible. That's like Kobayashi levels. No, nah, dude. Kobayashi right. Maru? The <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the un unwinnable situation. Yeah, staying sober is the ultimate Kobayashi Maru. Yeah. Well, all right, we'll get a hundred we'll what get a hundred and twenty Kobayashi years? Maroon five. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> i hate that shit dude what? i hated star trek man dude i love i've been getting really into the next year i was the star wars boy through and through man i like both you know but what? i think star trek might have put out more good hours of content than star trek no way absolutely. man if you take in like the extended universe of star wars before disney got a hold of it it had a fucking great culture man you're talking about reading books shut up no yeah, shut the fuck up joe there were uh, video you games you fucking queer Dude, I want to wedge you, Joe, right now. God damn dude, it, dude. I want to kill Joe's both of you motherfuckers, dude. Ass. Yeah, dude. Not like us. The Chad Star Trek fans. I yeah, the virgin Star, Trek Star Wars fans. The virgin fans. Star Wars In the yeah, Chad Star Trek fans. I'll tell you who's fucking not nerd. Star Trek was Star all Trek just fans. Was fucking nerd shit. It was like weird horny nerds because they were like, oh, I wonder what would happen if we established universal peace. And then if we established universal peace, I could have sex with an alien. Where Star Wars is like, yo, how cool would it be if we cut off this guy's fucking arm? How cool would it be if you almost bang your sister? Hold on, like, have up. you ever this, seen? This sounds Dean like Android? a bit went from like if a nerdy black comic tries to do an urban room. <laughs> Deanna Troy's titties are fucking banging, dude. Yeah, well, I don't know, man. I think that Troy is like an okay looking girl. But I think because she's the only woman yeah, on the ship, she was like she's the like, hottest, uh -uh. The she's like the hottest. The Enterprise. Yeah. Like, Beverly, if you, Dr. If, Crusher, come on. Crusher's, Dr. Crusher. Crusher's an old woman, dude. Damn it. No, good. she's like in her 40s. I'd love to You're crush her. Show. Yeah, dude. I'd love to crush a little Crusher's But that's hot. the thing. They're like kind of nerd hot. I think uh, Leia back in the original Star Wars is hotter. Yeah, Carrie Fisher with a Coke Sure, problem. but I, I yeah. do. I would take Troy over Leia for I sure. like, and also, uh, uh, how uh, I think Lizzo's pretty good in the Return of the Jedi. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> Rude. Monster. Don't make fun. That's a brave. That's brave to be freakishly obese in this day and age, dude. <laughs> the yeah, fuck dude. Is wrong with so, you? Why don't you subscribe to, to your OnlyFans? And, and to, to be that obese and, and with the risk of diabetes? That's heroic, <laughs> dude. I just took a DNA. Turns out I am a hundred percent that bitch. Uh, uh, <laughs> Wait, are you doing like, the count from Sesame Street? No, he's Street? doing it like a Jabba the Hutt kind of. Accent. Lizzo the Hutt. Liz, I know, but you did, you ended it like God, the fucking. Bro. Ooh, ooh, I am a hundred percent. I can't really do Jabba. What is Jabba the Hutt? No, you got it. Mr. P. Diddy. Dude, Lizzo sucks. Diddy threw her off his live stream for being, uh, for like twerking or something. I saw that. Really? It was so funny. That's Fucking so real funny. ass. You know what? I'll bet he was just reminded of Notorious B.I.G. and was just triggered by the thought of yeah, this. He's like, my, my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah, that they is, all they do all look alike, Robbie. I agree with you there. Fat people, I agree. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, just uh, hey. <laughs> I used to look just like Lizzo. I cross the street when I see a fat person. Do you? I go the other side. Yeah. Well, because yeah. they because they push you off the sidewalk. Yeah. It's so fat. I have to lock my windows when I stop at an intersection. There's fat okay, people. Okay. All right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hey, uh, <laughs> I don't want to put your mind. wallet in your front pocket. We're entering a fat part of town. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All these yeah. fat people are going to try and sell you sneakers, don't <laughs> Hey, brother, I got some pizza slices here, man. <laughs> yeah. Another unarmed fat person shot by the Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just had a bunch of Skittles in his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, George Zimmerman's like, I thought he was going to eat me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I'm also uh, fat. And then he kills himself. 
<laughs> Damn. Whatever happened to that guy? Did everything work out? Yeah, he's doing pretty. He's a, he's like he's a, just like a troll now. He just like takes like con- contrarian opinions in the news. That's and cool. Everyone gets mad at him. All's well that ends well. Yeah. Um, so I yeah, guess everyone. I guess everyone won. Dude, All's well that ends well. The George is. I, I was watching some old Anthony Cumia shows, and they like did episodes. They're like, all right, uh, like you know, how they have like election watch parties. They had one of those for the Zimmerman trial. Like, all right. <laughs> We were counting down for when the verdict is read. Kumia really turned into a cartoon character, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yes, a correct cartoon character. Okay, Zimmerman sued the family of Trayvon Martin. Oh, my God, dude. I mean, that was pretty traumatizing to have to kill that kid. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Poor guy. (laughs) Jesus Christ. But yeah, I would like to say I do not endorse the feelings and views of anybody, <laughs> or anything, or anything. I have no feelings. No, nah, we're just we're just goofing here. Dude, was, we're, it, this is literally wait, just a goof set. I might have is... to stand. George Zimmerman sues Pete Buttigieg and Elizabeth Warren. That's pretty <laughs> awesome. That's so funny. <laughs> what if he sued Pete for hosting Jimmy Kimmel and he Dude. just didn't like it? I think he's, just, <laughs> not, he's for... just suing Pete for being gay. <laughs> Rudy. <laughs> Ruining the sanctity of late night talk shows. Yeah. You suck. I'm going to (laughs) sue. I didn't sign up for Pete Budigag live. Where's where's Kimmel? Where's Kimmel? supposed to dress up like a black. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, do you think when George Zimmerman saw Jimmy Kimmel in blackface, he shot his TV? (laughs) Like Elvis, he was on the toilet. Yeah. Well, you guys whatever. remember when uh, Sarah Silverman <laughs> lost that movie role because somebody pulled up a clip of her from the Sarah Silverman program doing blackface from like 2008? Oh, yeah. She lost oh, yeah. a role for that. That's so stupid. Yeah. That episode, like, but that was like a Tropic Thunder. Like the episode yeah. was like about, it was like very meta. Yeah. And she was like, oh my God, I look. And she like was wearing like, she was like, oh, I can look like a black woman. And so she put on like, like dark black and like big white lips. And then she was like, oh my God, I'm beautiful. I look like Queen Latifah. <laughs> what happened to that, Sarah? What happened to the Sarah I fell in love with? Yeah, Sarah. Dude, Soma- she died. Now she's in the Imagine video. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, she was funny. Like when she ta- she was awesome when she like talked and thought like a man, and then girl yeah. brain took over. Dude, dude, exa- Like I think, like honestly, like I think if you're a woman and you're in your forties and you don't have oh, a here, kid, here your, your brain just like goes to shit, dude. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> Huh. And it's a bummer, man. I and it's actually, happening to more and more women. I don't agree with that, but I... Uh, oh, really? Okay, let's get into this. Let's really unpack this. Yeah, topic. Joe, women don't have brains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first of all, lose your damn mind. You gotta have a damn mind. <laughs> Ain't lose something you never had in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, women are dumb, dog. <laughs> damn, man. And they vote? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Yikes. Uh, man, I'm just goofing, man. I, yeah, I we're love, all joking. Hey, I love women, man. <laughs> I love women. I love the women. I love gonna, them. Some, someone I'm say gonna, too much, judging from how much I've been DMing. I love women too much. Damn, dude, I've been thinking about every woman I've ever had sex with these past couple of weeks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Very how's erotic. It? How's Ooh. your hentai adventures? <sighs> Incredible, dude. I've I've gone through most of like the good hentai and now I'm into kind of like the nineties LA blue girl style hentai. All right. I don't like it as much. No idea what you're talking (laughs) about. Yeah, Joe is disappearing down a dark road. I don't think I'm gonna come out of this one, fellas. (laughs) (laughs) I have a new life as a samurai warrior jumping across rooftops in a post apocalyptic Neo Tokyo. When you watch hentai, do you come and say, Very honorable? (laughs) No, I go I make the, my other favorite head tie. You power up like a like fucking uh, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, yeah, you spirit bust. Yeah. As I fucking pour <gasps> lube into my hand, I'm like, Aah! Joe, how much did you jerk off this quarantine? Over nine thousand gallons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's been nutty. I want to transition back into real person <laughs> porn. But I don't know how now. You can do that anytime, dude. Dude, my flip, my you palate flip that is that switch. My palate I, is so I think extended now. Once you get so addicted to like that stuff, it's hard to go back. It, it is, dude. I it's can't like go back. it's like welfare, you know. Can't just take it away. Mm-hmm. 
I beat off to a picture of Kat Dennings the other day. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, dude. Yeah, she's a cutie She's pretty pie. cool. She's one of the hottest Nick women. and Nora Infinite Playlist. She's so uh, hot. Kat Dennings is so fucking hot. What about dude. Nick and Nora's Infinite Gay Guys? Ooh. How what? about Nick at Night? Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh yeah. Nick at Night. Oh. Yeah, dude. But, like, I mean, Kat Dennings is just, like, a great pair of tits. Yeah, Christina Hendricks, Mamma Mia. Oh, God, she's here, got a here big, I go again. She's got a big pooper, too, though. What if I, one of the co-workers on my show had the biggest tits you've ever seen? Don, you're a genius. She really does have, like, uncomfortably big tits, dude. Rude titties, I say. Yeah. Rude titties. Rude titties. Hello, titties. Let me suck on them. <clears throat> So what have we been getting up to, boys? I have not. I have literally not left. I have not. I, I haven't I've, left the house. I've spent a total of twenty seconds outside over the last like two weeks. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to. There's her, her cuck bo- uh, ex-husband. I know, dude, dude. That was awesome. You know what? Christina Hendricks gave so many men hope by just, but by marrying a guy that looks just like all the guys that want to fuck her. Yeah. yeah, I still have hope. My God, she's God. so fine. I mean, come on, dude. Number one. Number one with a bullet the, for me. I mean, look at that. Great yeah. body. This is this is the horny. this is now the the horny section of the podcast. Dude, we're fucking yeah. horny, man. I'm fucking horny. I'm horned up. Yeah, dude. I'm fucking horny. Yeah, man. I'm ready to bust. I'm gonna bust, dog. Yeah, she's she's Mary good. Roger. Oh, she looks like shit here, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, not like us. Yeah, hey, come on, bitch. What the hell? You got one thing. Be hot. I mean, look at, dude, look at these gazongas. I mean, this is, Damn, this dude, is, a, get, this is yeah. a titty hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're in a titty hour, everybody. <laughs> we're talking titties. Yeah, we're talking titties. Oh, uh, welcome back. I'm Chris Hardwick. This is Talking Titties. Uh, <laughs> who's got the best ones? Uh, points. <laughs> points. Pointy nipples. Chris Harwick sucks. Yeah. Was, there was like a moment when I thought it was great. Like when I like Hard and Firm era. Yeah. Yeah. Like an initial comedy bang bang kind of like. Damn, that album was like, I'm a nerd. This is nerdy. I'm yeah. Nerd. I have well, a protractor. People, ah, chemistry. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Do you think he was like Talk a fake nerd? I kinda, oh, absolutely. I kind of wanted to believe he was a real nerd just because he had a nerdy voice. But no, you just reminded just, me. You just reminded me. There was a comic back in Dallas. I'm going to catch some shit for talking about her because she's like beloved down there. I'm not going to name her name. but Eliza Schlesinger. She. Yeah, it was Eliza Schlesinger, <laughs> and she always had, and she 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 owned a comedy club. What's her name? Who was it? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna name her name. I mean, anyone from there will know exactly what I'm talking about when I say this. But she always had a joke. She always did like the same set, like every time she open mic shows. It didn't matter. She was doing the same oh. material that she'd been doing for like 30 years, and she had some bit about a protractor, where uh. she she mentions a protractor, and she goes, I don't even know what that is. And then she would do an act out of driving, and she go, "It's a professional tractor." Oh no! And it would, dude, it would like crush at oh, her club. No. I'm like, what "The fuck is happening?" Oh no! Dude. Anyway, I'm gonna get blacklisted from the Dallas comedy community for talking about her because she's like, everyone loves her. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. Hey man, did you see that? I was watching. I was just going through Facebook, and there was like an ad targeted to me it had thirty thousand likes and it was trevor cuomo or uh trevor noah uh, doing like a it is me trevor cuomo <laughs> it is it me, me trevor to cuomo. update you on the coronavirus <laughs> uh but trevor noah did like a 30 it was like a long setup Ugh. it was like 28 seconds of just like oh clearly, the cuomo section yeah clearly just like that weird thing where like the daily show just like tries to give you news and in a 30 second format with like no audience it was so awkward because it's like it was like this isn't a setup to a punchline it's just like him like describing the news he's like and and then the last and then it was like and all a bunch of uh, people uh decided they uh have sexual feelings for cuomo they are a cuomo sexual really they put <laughs> money behind that do we know people uh, like clearly a staff. lot of money yeah but whatever dude it's no, fucking- no, no no i'm saying like it's, it's just you know what's embarrassing weird embarrassing show is i know funny people on that writing staff that's what's Ooh. crazy what is happening with that show it's what is that apart, cuomo dude. sexual joke they what lost their they lost their jew 
Well, here's the thing, dude. You can't, like, the whole thing is, like, the Daily Show is supposed to be, like, the funny thing about news and politics, but they're not the funny thing. The funniest thing about news and politics right now is Trump, and you can't be funnier than the president currently is. But I think Trevor, he also just does, like, Twitter jokes. I really... He doesn't have, like, charisma, dude. No, yeah. I mean, I really hope that, like, this, like, this, like, the fact that we have the same production value as SNL right now, like, the exact same production value... Did you guys watch the The Great Equalizer? I tried watching it. It was kind of it's uh, awkward, dude. It was, it was awkward. Yeah, it's I kind weird, of, dude. I actually yeah, cringed really for weird. them. Did you watch it? No. I watched bits and pieces. I saw. Like, I refuse to watch anything with women in it. Good, unless it's porn, or even gay. No, dude, porn. I only watch gay porn. So you only watch like Ocean's Eleven. Yep. <laughs> what, what has no yeah, women? I put, whenever there's a woman on the screen, I, put, I close one eye and put 12 my thumb Angry up. Men. Yeah, 12 Angry Men is the only movie Dalton watches. And my dinner yeah, with Andre. Yeah, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, <laughs> 12 Angry Men. Damn, there's some great movies with just guys in it. Yeah, that, dude, actually. cut out the, the gash. Irishman. But, yeah, dude. Irishman's awesome. Really? Yeah, I'm, I love it. I thought it was okay. You're wrong. I, got, I was confused, dude. I'm always confused by that shit. It's just a bunch of guineas being fucking wops. Yeah, what else is new? Oh. But, but those are the best movies of all time. The Godfather, Goodfellas, Sopranos, Irishman. Sopranos isn't a movie. It's going to be. The Many Saints of Newark is coming out soon. That's true. Maybe. Man, that movie's going to suck, dude. It's going to be weird. Well, it's going to have James Gandolfini's son playing James yeah, Gandolfini. Yeah, he looks, he looks exactly a lot like, like him. Exactly like him, yeah. Hey, it's me, little Gandolfini. I'm a little bird. <laughs> I'm a little virgin of games. Games get now fiend. Look at me. The fuck is this? <laughs> That's good. You do a good Tony Soprano. Look at Powerful here. stuff. I'm 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 his fucking son. Okay. I know I look like a little virgin, but I'm just as fucking big, and I plan on dying also very soon. <laughs> I was wa- I've been watching so much Gandolfini lately. I watched Killing Them Softly. Uh, I watched um. It's Mexican. funny that Italians hate blacks so much when they both die like almost the exact same way. <laughs> well, they're also like the same race, dude. <laughs> well, isn't it's that true? Like the closest races to each other hate each other. Like look at Israeli Palestinians, Chinese, uh, and every other Asian group. Chinese, Japanese, yeah, South Korean, Dirty North knees, Korean. Look at these. Uh, British and Americans. Yeah, damn. Dude, French I and hate, Americans. I hate the British. The Britain sucks. <laughs> like they fucking dude, suck. Yeah, dude. We I mean that's ass, I mean cuz cuz uh I mean that cuz it's like a human thing like racism just comes out of tribal hatred and tribal hatred can't, comes out of like competition from like those who are much sim- more most similar to you seemingly they're going to be in the most competition for resources so therefore you hate them the most because like even and and the and you wedge even more divisiveness by being like oh well they're actually way different than us and here's all the big differences you know yeah in the main it, the main when reality, you are, when, you, when in reality, you're more similar than, like, anyone else in the fucking world. Yeah, because Italians and blacks, they both are trying to get white pussy. That's the main resource amongst both of them. That's why they hate each other, because they're both trying to get all the white pussy. Both, best, both have the best food, though. Yeah. Damn. That's true. Soul food and Italian food, two, the two best cuisine. Also the best music from or movies. Black cinema. <laughs> yeah, Italian music is not that good. Yeah. Yeah, they really dropped the ball on music. Italians have the rest of culture covered, but yeah, what's the Oh, no, well, I, I don't know. I guess Frank Sinatra. Wind yeah, Frank Sinatra. Moon. Yeah, I was going to say Dean Martin. Opera. Yeah, <laughs> opera. That scene when Junior Soprano sings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that song. <laughs> when the moon hits her eye. Like, <laughs> yeah, when Junior dude, Soprano sings. That song's that a fucking bop, that song. Yeah. Damn, dude, it's it the Sopranos recut, but it that's the only or, like the entire the, the, soundtrack is just like the, yeah. when the moon hits your eye. <laughs> so every significant Instead, scene yeah. of music has that. What about that song? The that opening gets, credits um, of of James Gandolfini like going through New yeah. Jersey, <laughs> like but, star. It's, but it's when the moon hits your eye <laughs> like a big. Rob, you have to make that, dude. Woke up this Don't... morning, the moon hit the eye like a big pizza pie. <laughs> What about that song? What about the song that gets Carmela horned up for Furio? <laughs> oh yeah, That's time a to song. say goodbye. And it's when the moon is <laughs> and she's like touching herself. <laughs> Damn, dude, dude. Italians are hilarious. Let's so rank. It's a, let's fucking bizarre culture, huh? I mean, but it's a great. Can you believe like some people like they're like, oh yeah, Italians are white people. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Have you have you seen the way they act? Are you kidding me, dude? Well, they're the most racist of all the whites, too. Yeah, they are like the most subhuman of white people <laughs> if they are white, which I am not contesting. <laughs> Italians, you're out of the club. Hey, back with the other group. <laughs> Come on, and let me in. But don't do you love my games? Let's do let's do a power ranking of all the broads and the Sopranos. All right, Adriana so, number one with the you go fucking Adriana number one. I go. Bullet. I go. The, I go yeah. with the one the one legged Russian lady. Oh, Gloria. Yeah, the one that Tony fucks. Oh, on the boat. The one-legged one, the one who Janice steals her leg. Yeah, the uh, Tony's mistress's sister. Yeah, damn Tony fucked. <laughs> damn dude, Tony did fuck. I think Tony set up an unreal precedent for like uncharming, heavy-breathing white guy, like heavy-breathing. Well, he Matt was guy. charming. He, he but was. He was like also like just like there were so many of ep- him just like. <sighs> Just like fucking and barely hanging on to life. Dude, so there's so many Dude. scenes of just him having trouble breathing. Yeah. Yeah. How about how I hate my son? <laughs> I watched uh, 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 The Drop, which is the last movie he made before he died. Oh, I saw that one. Yeah. Dude, he is so fat in it. He's, He's like fat, Farley yeah. levels in that. Like it's it was kind of a bummer to watch the whole time because you're like oh damn he's so, actually gonna die of a heart on. attack. We have Adriana. He's about to drop one, dead. We have the one-legged Russian. Artie what Bucco's are... wife. Uh, Meadow. Oh Pat. yeah, Meadow when she's dancing. Oh, yeah. Oh. Damn, dude, Meadow in season one where she's like on speed. Well, she's in high school in that season. Uh oh. Well, what's the, the age of consent in New Jersey is sixteen. So there Joe we go. Knew, Joe knew that right off the top of his head. Oh, come on. Everyone se- knows by the way, that. I think it's 17. <laughs> no, no. 17 is New York. New Jersey's 16. Trust me. Really? All yeah. Right, so, but you see, can't, that's, the first, that, that's the first thing. Yeah. But that's you can't, first thing like, Joe looks up. Yeah. You he... can't like grab some 16 year old in New York, take him across state lines. That's you'll a still felony. get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> we, <laughs> yeah. We that's call a that, Chuck Berry. We, yeah. You'll yeah, get in trouble. We call that Woody Allen's gambit. Yeah, you better have a you better have a heck of a lawyer, bud. All right, so season six, Meadow, the car dealer that Tony fucks, the oh, Mercedes yeah, she's dealer, great. the crazy I bitch. I don't really remember. I need to rewatch it. The chick what that about, kills what herself. About, uh, yeah, she killed herself just to spite Tony. Uh, she's like, she's gonna kill myself. He's like, do it, you fucking bitch. Do it, you fucking uh, <laughs> just fucking yeah. kill yourself already. What about that uh, that producer that uh, Christopher slept with in the early yeah, the movie? redhead. Oh, oh, that's my, my favorite. Own. That's my favorite. D girl. Yeah. You're a fucking D girl. The one I just watched yeah, was great. the one. It might be one of the best episodes. It's the one where Adriana and Tony are like flirting. Oh yeah. And oh, yeah. then and, like, they he thinks. Like the, everyone and, and then she probably would have sucked his dick, but then they get in a car crash, so nothing happens. Right. But everyone thinks that she sucked his dick, even though he didn't. But she would have. Right. So like, it, it's really complex and awesome. But the and best then, like, part the is, they, yeah, yeah. The best ooh. part is, the best part is when she's doing coke, and she's like, "Want some?" To Tony, and he goes, eh, "Twist my arm." It's like yeah. such great fucking Gandolfini, like uh, charming acting. What about Ginny Sack? The big fat girl? Yeah, dude. The Hell one with yeah. the ninety-five pound mole. <laughs> dude, what about uh, uh what about uh AJ's uh near fiance? Oh, the, the Puerto Rican? Yeah. yeah, dude. I like that AJ's storyline ends with him trying to become Donald Trump's pilot. Damn, well, that was a weird ed- yeah, he's like, I'm gonna join the Air Force, I'm gonna be Donald Trump's <laughs> He dude, imagine it damn. Now they could set it up for like, you know, now AJ is like the pilot of air force one or some shit like that. oh yeah aj you're doing a heck of a job i love your father <laughs> he's really great do you think do you think uh so do you think tony was killed at the end of uh the show no i don't think he was no i think he was no i think he was yes no i don't think he was damn i'm persuasive <laughs> come on why not dalton um i just don't think he was so what th- you think he just kept on living and they all lived happily ever after. There's no happy endings in the no, movie. No, I think the point of the show, the way it ends, is there really, there is no happily ever after. So I guess it, it does. It doesn't really matter whether he lives or dies because his life fucking sucks. Does it? 
I think it's cool. I think that's true, but I also think he dies because Bacala says like earlier, like, yeah, it just goes to black when you die. Yeah, you don't, yeah, it doesn't fade out. You don't see nothing and it just like ends like, like that. And they were saying that the guy wearing the members only jacket was the guy who was going to kill him. <clears throat> he was the New York hit man. Who knows? Dude? I think he died. It's we ambiguous. Should ask, we should ask David he Chase. He died. I'm now two Let's degrees. We're now two degrees from David Chase, Dalton. He follows Loud Boys on Twitter. That's true. So. Honorary Loud Boy. Honestly, the Sopranos should have been called the Loud Boys. <laughs> They're all it really pretty goddamn is the loud. Official, it is the official show of of the Loud Boys podcast. Is it, is it too late to change the text of uh, the podcast uh, to the Sopranos text for Loud Boys? Oh my god, that would be so. With corny. the L yeah, and Loud yeah, Boys yeah. being an upside down <laughs> gun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Woke up this morning, got canceled on my podcast. We can't get canceled, dude. Try. We're yeah, never canceled. canceled. We have you to have something to take a, to be, to get taken away from us. I know, dude. Yeah, canceled. yeah. Fuck it. I mean, I feel like every podcast right now is just like balls to the wall offensive because it like, doesn't what, matter. What are they gonna it fucking do? Yeah, yeah. What are you gonna do, dude? Seth Simons is moving to L.A. Yeah, dude. It's true. R.I.P. Yeah, that little bitch. But it's not Man, like he, he says it's on. It's on site. With Seth Simons. Yeah. Um, I'm nervous. <laughs> what just York, happened? <laughs> do you think the New York comedy scene's coming back? No. No. Really? Well, what's yeah, going to come back? Are bars coming back? Are no. comedy done, clubs dude. coming back? No. It's going to be at least a year before shit's like going again, which Damn. sucks. That's, yeah, we're done. That what, sucks, dude. When I are we going to be let out of this quarantine? I'm getting. Move, get, I'm gonna have to leave my apartment at the end of the month. I gotta find a place to live. Dude, you got fucking sixteen days, man. Relax. Hang yeah, out. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, relax, man. Dude, chill out, man. You're like, oh, I gotta live somewhere. Oh, I'm gay. Chill out, man. Yeah, you're right. I got sixteen days. I'll be you fine. You got sixteen days. Yeah. Baby. How long did it take Jesus to come back to life, Dalton? Yeah, dude. Three days, dude. Bring me to life. <laughs> wake me Jesus up. Christ. Wake me up. <laughs> Can't wake Can't up. Can't wake up. <laughs> Save me. Dude, Mel Gibson should have ended The Passion of the Christ with that song. <laughs> yeah. That scene where it's like da, da, it, it pans da, 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 up to Jesus and he's looking yeah. all intense and shit and he yeah. stands up and here he goes. Da, 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 <laughs> wake me up. Wake me up. Baby. I can't wake up. And he leaves the cave and it just smashes to credit. <laughs> He like Save fucking he bursts through the cave and like a yeah. fucking flock of doves, yeah. like a John yeah. Woo movie erupt out. And then and then and then it, it close up on Jesus is like I never know when it's down, but I'm gonna own ya. <laughs> oh, it switches to Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> yeah, it switches to Red Hot Chili Peppers midway through. It could be like that scene. It becomes a medley. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like one of Weird house Pocus. Yeah. <laughs> Under the bridge downtown is where I came back to life. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fuck. Red and Chili Peppers are good. I take they that back. They suck. Though. No, they suck, dude. They're, they're the Kevin Smith of bands. You think they're great in high school, but they actually suck. And idiots Well, I, 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 I like do them. think individually, Flea is a good bassist. John Frusciante is a good guitarist. And Chad Smith are, is a good drummer. But all to get when you throw Anthony Kiedis in the mix, dude, you get like a fucking. Yeah, I mean, they're they're like um they're they're one of those ones where it's like they're less than the sum of their parts. Like it's weird. It, individually, yeah, they're all great because because like John Frusciante's like solo albums are great. Like uh, what is it to only record water? Yeah, those are really days. good. Yeah, and his like him and Flea were in the studio with for like a few of their albums and it's like all that shit they did with them was great but like chili pepper stuff individually you can hear that they're good musicians but when the music comes together it's like this is like a gay yeah. ass fucking <laughs> it's like funk rock it's like they're all four of them wanted to do a different kind of music and they're like well let's just put them all together you know well i don't i don't even have a problem with that i i, I just think it's like the music they did create Especially with Anthony Kiedis's voice, I just fucking yeah, hate it. Yeah, because it's like Mr. Mr. Bungle. Go one down, dude. How does he fucking sing? 
I went to go with a bag of a dog, a bag of a bag of a dog, a bag of a dog, a bag California is the best place to be. <laughs> Everything's about it's uh, every every song is a love letter to California. When I was a young uh, high school Californian though, that shit hit hard. I loved like Danny it was an California. Anthem. Yeah, get along in the state of Mississippi. Papa was a hippie. <laughs> like I loved that when I was a kid. <laughs> Beverly Hills by Weezer hit pretty hard too. And I I was a San Francisco boy. I didn't even like LA that much. Damn, you're gay, dude. Well, I was gonna. Well, you know the thing is. Like, well, where Mr. I'm Bungle come from is all that similar great. to that. Like, that style of music, like, Mr. Bungle's first album is like that, where it's just, like, this fusion of all these different styles of music, and it's great. It's just, like, it can be done, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, I heard Mr. Bungle got me too though. Yeah, he bungled someone. <laughs> yeah, he bungled. Five women alleged that Mr. <laughs> Bungle bungled yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, they don't call him Mr. Bungle for nothing. <laughs> We thought when we were called Mr. Bungle, we knew, but it turned out to be much more than just a a, a goofy nickname. <laughs> yeah. It was much more serious. Yeah. Look up Bungle on uh, Urban Dictionary and yeah. uh, hopefully don't eat anything beforehand. One of his victims was Danny California, actually. That's true. Yeah, Mr. Bungle, yeah. Bungle, Danny California. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the New York Times headline examining the allegation against Mr. Bungle by Danny California. Boy, what a nonsense bit this is. Great, Bung great shit, um, Bungles, derogatory yeah. Bungles, derogatory nickname for the Ohio State Correctional System Work Release Program, also known as the Cincinnati Bengals. The mm. origin of the Bungles is generally attributed to the late Pittsburgh sportscaster and Steelers color analyst Myron Cope. So, yeah, this doesn't make any sense. Bungle, a person who is foolish, inept, or clumsy. Ah, like Mr. Bean. They should call it Mr. Bean. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Or Mr. Oh, here Magoo. We go. Here we go. To bungle is to tickle the area between one's anus and scrotal sac. <laughs> All right, that paid I off. I.e. gooch. Damn, dude. Example, I bungled Gabe several times that night, <laughs> none of which he was aware of. <laughs> dude, you would get me too for that. Yeah, Damn. you know what? I would just realize, like, if Mr. Bean ever got me too, everyone would just assume it was some big misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, well, he clearly must have slipped or something happened. Like, <laughs> Mr. Magoo got me too. Oh no, what did he do? Well, he walked backwards into a pussy without asking. <laughs> Kept saying how it was uh, a game. Sh yeah. Shit. Oh. Uh? Uh -huh. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you ever listen to the Tim Allen? Uh, 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 <laughs> Tim special? Allen squeaky clean in Hollywood. I tried watching his special Men Are Pigs, and boy, it fucking <laughs> sucks, dude. <laughs> dude, well, I mean, you didn't like it? No, I didn't. You know who I've been obsessed with lately? Is <laughs> yeah, why? Uh, I've been obsessed with Kevin Smith, who's been really. I don't know if he's on a press tour, but there was like four horrid kevin smith headlines this week so first well, he he just released the jane Silent bob reboot yeah okay so that sucks it's gonna I, suck. I watched 10 minutes of it it was horrible i i like had to turn it off second he um he opened up a real movies store or a real movies restaurant like can you imagine right Wait, now what you remember movies that like fake restaurant and oh his, yeah the, the cow the cow yeah. one he opened up a movies now so he's like, open it up and they're like, movies will give you delivery. Can you imagine getting fucking coronavirus because you work at movies? The Kevin Smith. Uh, Which business. is funnier than any, like his last four movies. And I bet like I, all the food at that restaurant is vegan now because he's like a vegan because he had a fucking heart attack. Heart attack. And so he's like, oh, no, I'm a health advocate. And then he said Fuck that you. Harvey Weinstein wanted to wanted him to direct Goodwill Hunting, which would have sucked so bad. That would have been. Well, he so does. Cool. Doesn't he have a writing credit on that? Uh, no, he just, like, brought the script to Harvey. Here you uh, go, Mr. Weinstein. <laughs> here you go, Mr. Weinstein, my hero, my friend. Uh, he did use he did used to, like, sing the praises of that guy back yeah. then. Yeah. Everyone did, dude. Because, like, Kevin Smith, like, Harvey, like, found him from nothing. Like, part of Kevin Smith's appeal is his origin story. They just, like, maxed out some credit cards to make a movie. And, then, like, Harvey's the guy who, like, took note. Like, Harvey took a chance on all these like filmmakers and people like love that story like he was what a low fucking bar like you watch clerks now i'd, I'd love the movie but what a low fucking bar at the time when it's like wow it's a movie of people just talking like us 
I mean, that's, <laughs> like, that's why people like it. Like, they're like, oh, I could, this means I could make a movie. Like, it's not very good. Like, I know. Just had, like, he, he just, and he just and figured, so, he just found something that literally anyone could do, which I guess is part of his appeal is he just, he got to something first. He did it though. But He's like, like no the else. sound. Well, he didn't even though. Tarantino got to it first, but Kevin Smith did it with like less talent and he like, Tarantino, I guess, was from like L.A. and like worked his way up like the entertainment ladder. But like, Clark, but Clark, Kevin Smith like was more... literally like, yeah, he's just like some guy. Yeah. But Tarantino's movies exist in this like heightened reality. Like, there's some some uh, razzmatazz in there. There's some chutzpah <laughs> in his movies. Kevin Smith's movies are like way more bare bones and feel a little more grounded, except for like dogma. But well, uh, yeah, and he's and a worse writer. He really is a bad. It's like every single character is just it's like a variation. What if, yeah, yeah what, I'm sure this 19 year old woman says flicks instead of movies. Uh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's a lot of that. Like, yeah, I sucked your dick. I was seeing a flick the other day. Star Wars is weird. You know, it's like a lot of yeah, that. I tried. Yeah. I tried reading the Batman comic he wrote. Oh, it sucks. Widening Geyer. God, garbage, it sucks. dude. Dude, his comics suck. Like, okay, uh, he wrote. He's not even an, good at writing comics. He was. No. He wrote an arc. Even Max on, Landis uh, is good at that. Yeah, he wrote. He wrote an arc on Daredevil that was okay, Guardian Devil, uh, and then he wrote an arc with <laughs> Green Arrow, Quiver, which was pretty good. But then everything else he does has been horseshit, and he can't even like release shit on time. It sucks. Dude. The only thing, he good thing, like he, a, yeah. the best thing he did was take that gas station picture with the big jorts. That's like the best thing. <laughs> like, that is it, literally. That is a all-time <laughs> picture, dude. That is, that's his most enduring work. That's it. To me. That's the only thing I revisit and feel any sense of joy. But, dude, I loved that him is, so much in middle school. Oh, he also said, the last headline I read, I was just like, there was like eight headlines in a row that were just like such dog shit. He said he's like writing Mallrats 2 and like the coronavirus is a big part of it. Damn. That's and it's so like, s- what the f- Yeah, <laughs> here we go, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dalton pulled up the Kevin Smith George picture. God, it's, it's such a good picture. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> why, why even make them shorts if they're that <laughs> fucking big and long? Those are fucking pants, dude. Yeah, those are like fucking like slug <laughs> pants. <laughs> also. <laughs> What a fucking terrible look. I love this picture. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's... it's that's so- a, and by the way, that's a millionaire right there. That's a man with over a million dollars. Yeah. He's, he's squeeching a really nice car. And he's wearing like a $5 hoodie that he got from like Amazon.com or Costco. That's a, that's a, that's a quadruple XL hoodie. <laughs> He size looks 67 waist so shorts. fat. Oh, my God. How does he look worse now, by the way, that he's skinny? Because that's what happens when you're that fat. Yeah. You and you lose, lose all that weight. You get, yeah. like, vagina neck. All this extra and... skin. It makes you look older. Yeah. I, uh, he, he looks way older now than he even did even that jorts picture. Yeah, he looks That bad. sucks because then you, like, try to make an effort to, like, improve your life. Click on that picture of him bad. and his daughter, dude, because, like. You're trying it, to. Dude, no, because I mean, it's like it's like it just shows like nepotism in Hollywood. Because like, look at that horse face. Well, she did the post. <laughs> Jesus, dude, she did the poster for uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which I guess it wasn't a bad poster. Actually. No, it looked Wait, good. Wait, she did? Yeah. Wait, yeah, what's like, the poster? Designed the. Uh, let me let me pull it up. Jamie, pull that up. That, yeah, that I'm, the, I'm the Jamie ass, of this that podcast. Is a good ass poster, man. The the one where, where they're like the the painted one. Yeah, the the like old time yeah this one. Oh, that's a great poster yes she she, not, she, she made that she wow made, like, she, did she is immediately it, way more talented than her dad that yeah. that poster is better than like everything her dad did that's a really good poster Dude, I, Ch- chasing amy is about it's about like like the the moral of the story is like you can turn a lesbian like lesbians just want dick at the end of the day that, yeah. I mean, that's true. I agree with that. Really? I thought it was like if you love somebody, then it does then it, it transcends gender and you'll find each other. But no, you're right, dude. It, no, Women are just, just like, fucking cock hungry little fucking dude, animals. I thought it was like, about how you probably shouldn't chase after someone. 
Uh, I, I, no, I, my, but it's like, but the whole thing's like, oh, you're a lesbian? Like, and she's like, yeah, I'm a fucking lesbian. I talk like a guy. And then he's like, well, I fucking love you. And she's like, you're right. I actually want a dick this whole time. <laughs> like, that's, yeah. dude, I fucking hate love stories. They are like the worst. It's like the worst thing from, for a young man's brain is to watch any romantic comedy. What do you think they should watch? That Joker movie? John Wick yes, 1, 2, and 3. They should. The Joker, Joker. Movie, the Joker movie has <laughs> great morals. It is. T- yeah. Take care of your mental health. Yeah. and Kill, become, kill and, a person if they're not your mom. And become the Joker. Well, he That's killed like, his mom. Kill, kill your mom, That too. wasn't his mom, though, dude. Oh, spoiler alert. Well, the Joker's such a part of the culture that you're allowed to spoil it. Yeah, it's a, that's like saying, like, spoiler alert, we beat the British and gained independence. It's like, you should know this. It's history. Oh, dude, you know what's so funny is, like, um, uh, oh, fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, romantic, romantic movies and you know romantic you know like, I hate The Russians. I've been reading this book, The Brothers K- K- Krasimov. Karamazov. 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 The Russians are fucking boring as shit, dude. Yeah, yeah that book dude. that book sucks, dude. No Put that jokes. Down. Don't no ever show that to me jokes. again. <laughs> yeah. No jokes at all. Do you even understand that? Because well, it's like the Russia's Ru- been the... around for like a thousand million years and they've only had one comedian. Yeah, dude. Russians Vladimir are, and the whole and his whole act is like Russia sucks and nobody yeah. thinks anything is funny. I tried Russia, reading that book, sucks. and it's like something about Russian language, each character has like three different names they go by. Yeah. And they never tell you who is who. Quite so, brother. Such people remain always the same. They don't yield to fate. So you think I shan't love her forever. Shut the fuck up, dude. I don't care about your gay-ass love story. I have a copy of Anna Anna Karenina. I I just don't think I like Russian art at all. Nah, dude. My my friends are like, oh, Soviet cinema. I like the the ice cream-looking shit at the Kremlin. Those like goofy looking towers. Those are pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like the Tetris. Oh background. yeah, that is actually sick. Those buildings. Yeah, the are Tetris awesome. background. <laughs> yeah, I like the Tetris background. Yeah. I like those big ass hats they wear. Those big fur hats that kind of look like Marge Simpson. Remember that? Yeah, the bear. The bears on unicycles. Yeah, yeah. It's a I, it's a beautiful culture actually. Based vo- on vodka. Based sucks. on our <laughs> very slim knowledge of it. Yeah, I like the the one legged Russian from Sopranos. I don't like Russians, unless you're. Yeah, a what Russian about that listener. Un- invincible Russian that they couldn't that that? Uh, Who's the Wally he was a he was a Czechoslovakian, or he killed? He was an interior designer. Yeah, he killed fifty Czechoslovakians. <laughs> That's pretty sick. And then he was just like lost in the woods. I'm lost in the woods. Great up. Pine Barrens. That, oh yeah, that's a good ass one. How about the Gein that's Barons? The and ones. it's about a pussy. They get lost in a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> we lost the pussy. We lost it again. Christopher, I'm inside yeah. this giant pussy. Where are you? You tell him you lost Christopher in a giant pussy. <laughs> wait, wait, big pussy? No, a different thing. <laughs> giant yeah, pussy. It's a different thing, Tom. Stone, we're in the <laughs> Stone, I'm in a giant pussy. We're in the Gein Barons. We're in the Gein Barons. Gein Barons. The fuck is this? <laughs> All right. How about the family Gein Barons? Oh, oh, uh, how would that oh. go? <laughs> Me and Tony are hanging out. <laughs> yeah, then what would Tony say? So hey, wait. My best friend, the Peter Griffin from Family Guy. Oh, no, and also Bill Cosby is here. Hello! How's it going? <laughs> Dave, you're really taking me there, dude. This is like theater Damn. of the mind. Yeah, let's close our eyes and do a story time. Wait, who's that at the door? It's Bane! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Gein Barons! <laughs> oh, Robin Williams! Oh, Gein Barons, Occupy Gal- Oc- Oc- Guy Wall Street. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'll take one percent of that dick. Damn, dude. I'm All right, <laughs> I'm nervous, man. What are you nervous I, about? What if comedy really is over? It is. It is. It's over. This is I all agree. we got now. But once we're allowed to, dude. Once the Zoom era is over, 
and we'll be able to go back to each other's houses. We're, we're, we're kicking this up a notch, man. Yeah, dude. We're like Emerald Lagazi. Bam. Bam. Forever. Bam Margera. Bam Margera. I think this one was, I think this one was, <laughs> was uh, markedly better than the other ones. You think this so? Was good. This is a good episode. I thought it was kind of slow. Fuck you, dude. This is like nah, dude, we had some good, we had some good bits in this one. Dude, this okay, like, I, I will say, I think the, the chemistry is flowing a little better. Here's the thing, dude. When you re- when you listen, when you sync the audio uh, to the Zoom video, if you choose to do that, which you probably should, since we were actually mute the first half of it, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. Yeah. All right. Uh, or not. Yeah. All right, guys. Should we take it in for a landing? Yeah. Bye, faggots. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow, what a landing. Bye, bye, faggots. Uh, Sleep please, well. <laughs> please remember to <laughs> please remember to rate, subscribe, and review, and follow us on social media at Loud Boys Pod. Um, please yeah. remember to rate. No, 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 no. Do not do that. Oh, okay. Robbie's the leader. All right. We do not. Yeah, we we are we hate rape <laughs> culture on this podcast. Yeah, yeah dude. This, if yeah, you're a this rapist, anti rape culture podcast. Yeah, don't listen to this podcast if you're a rapist. There's nothing for you here. No, I agree. There's All right, nothing everybody. for you. Go away. Yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> We're not here to make you laugh. Or yeah. there's nothing for you here unless you answer our riddles three. <laughs> <laughs> to listen to this podcast, B, he must answer us these riddles three. <laughs> Riddle the first. Riddle what me should this. you not do? <laughs> <laughs> I guess rape someone. <laughs> Damn it, correct. All People right. keep getting that one correct. Riddle the second. What do I mean when I say no? <laughs> Uh, Damn, dude. dude, a feminist bridge troll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean Lindy West? Yeah. <laughs> Riddle the third. <laughs> Shri- what can a woman be? <laughs> Anything she puts her mind to. <laughs> Get out. Riddle before. Had- <laughs> What's the funniest show on TV? Shrill or Nanette. <laughs> Damn, dude. I'm, I, I'm there pumped. was somebody, I know it was a friend of mine from back in Dallas who said that like men should tell their female coworkers what they're making hourly so they can be sure that the women aren't getting paid less than them for the same job, which is like, yeah, I'm just going to go to my coworker unprovoked and go, Hey, just to let you know, I make $21 an hour. What what are you making? I want to make sure it's fair. That's actually a funny ass move. That would be funny. Yeah. Just, also, hey, just to okay, make wait, sure, I, just but what if you make less than the woman then? Then what? Then do you get to complain? Well, you're not, you're not supposed to talk about your fucking paycheck with anyone you work with. Well, why so, like, not? Like, anyone, idea... Saying how much you make to anybody is like kind of gauche. Why? Yeah. Spooky. Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah it's kind of ghost. <laughs> Ooh. 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 401 scary. Luigi's mansion, but he's just looking at his coworkers' paychecks. He's like, "Mamma mia, Mama me! I don't have to make a million this much." He's <laughs> like, "I'm, I'm a one of the Mario Brothers. Why I get paid less?" <laughs> did oh, you know that? The pasta now. Did you know that Peach only gets seventy-three coins to Luigi's one hundred? <laughs> <laughs> Wario gets so much. I think he's a tax shelter. Wario. Oh, Wario. Wario is the John McAfee of the Mushroom Kingdom. Go no, on. Waluigi is. Wario is the Trump of the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna bring back. We're gonna bring back King Boo. All right, everybody. <laughs> yeah, that, we'll go great, out on that. Great sure, point, dude. Yeah, let's we put had... a pin in that. When we come back, we're gonna figure out which members of the Mushroom Kingdom are our politicians. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to get two more pods uh, before the end of the month, fellas. Koopa Troopa is Mitch McConnell, obviously. That's actually pretty funny. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. Dude, tweet that. You'll get, like, a bunch of resistance Twitter. Tweet it on the the Loud Boys pod. Dude, uh, I think pod is going to save America. (laughs) We can only hope, dude. (laughs) Nice. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye forever.